This segment is brought to you by the Kansas Association of Wheat Growers and the Kansas Wheat Commission. Together, we are Kansas Wheat. Good morning and welcome to Ag AM in Kansas. My name is Conrad Cabus and we're at the Three Eyes Show in Dodge City, Kansas. We're talking with several agriculture professionals and we're discussing a little bit about the background between drones, horse training, and antique tractors. I'm LaDonna Brown and we live up in Hodgson County. And we do this for fun and we enjoy the tractor shows. You meet the nicest people at a tractor show. They also have a special formula for getting tractors in the building. She holds two of them and I hold two. We each got trailers. Then we bring them in here and we talk to Eddie and how he give us two nice spots here. And uh, we back these bigger ones up like this because we wanted to bring a, a grain binder and we wanted to bring this D here in. George and LaDonna Brown have spent much of their lives and most of their nearly 57 years of marriage on the farm. Now they focused on restoring the tractors that they once drove. Well, it goes back about 20 years ago. Uh, when Dad bought the first R John Deere out, while well, there was a little trouble with the pony motor on it, the John Deere dealer brought out a W6 International, and uh, I, all I heard was two-cylinder all my life, and I was just a young teenager, and the chuckling of an International sounded good to me, so I restored a W6, like the one they brought out. I think that started it. Uh, when we got out of the Navy, we bought a 47 John Deere D. We farmed with it for about eight years, and she pulled me binding feed with it for, I don't know how long, 30 years maybe. We bound feed for ourselves and our neighbors, and we farmed with the D. And, uh, like I say, the first tractor that I run was this 29 back here, and I was 9 to 10 years old, and then worked our way up to a 36, and then a 48. My dad had a 48 uh, D. Then he bought the 49 R, and from the 49 R up to when I went in the Navy, when I got out of the Navy, he had the 830, and. Uh, I don't know, we just like to do them, and she's my head mechanic. She will haul off and go buy one and gives us something to do, and uh, we just enjoy it. And we like to go to tractor shows, and uh, we're, if our, we have a, far, a long enough weekend to go. Well, this is our third year here at the 3i. We enjoy this a lot because people like the tractors are mostly farm communities and we enjoy talking to them and we uh, appreciate being here. We have a good time and we go to neighboring shows around Ford County and Oklahoma, Fairview, Oklahoma, and uh, several shows in Kansas if we have time. Thank you for watching Ag AM in Kansas today and you can always check us out on www.agamincansas.com. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. This hog is head over hoof for meal made from U.S. soybeans. Now, one hog isn't that impressive, but suppose we add another, and another, and another. Before long, you've got billions of hungry customers around the world all clamoring for the same thing. Our soybeans. Learn more about the billion-dollar appetite of animal agriculture at beyondtheelevator.com. Brought to you by America's Soybean Farmers and their checkoff. Farming is a tough business. With Harvest Looming, make the decision to rent your combine from Machinery Link. Machinery Link provides late model John Deere and Case IH combines delivered to your field on time, guaranteed. Machinery Link handles the cost of repairs, maintenance, and the other hassles that go with owning a combine, allowing you to focus your time and money on more important things. Don't miss your opportunity to reap the rewards that other Kansas farmers are already experiencing. Call today. <laughs> 